Welcome to Baber AME Church, where we are making men and women who reflect the life and love of Jesus Christ. White history is not default history, and black history is more than slavery. This week, Baber celebrates Bishop Richard Harvey Kane, who was born a free man in 1825. Licensed to preach in 1848, Kane pastored Bridge Street AME Church in Brooklyn and Mother Emanuel AME Church in Charleston, South Carolina. After the Civil War, Kane was a member of the South Carolina Senate from 1868 to 1872, and in 1873, he was elected to the United States House of Representatives. In the House, Kane was a member of the Agricultural Committee and focused on a civil rights bill. After he retired from Congress, Kane was elected the 14th Bishop of the AME Church in 1870. Come on, Baber, let's celebrate Bishop Richard Harvey Kane. Join Pastor Simmons this Saturday at 2.30 p.m. when he will preach for the Honorable Ernest Flagler Mitchell and the Way Church for their first church anniversary. The Way Church is located at 76 Union Street. We look forward to seeing you this Saturday at 2.30 p.m. at the Way Church. From May 14th through the 18th, Faber will host the Bishop Gregory G. M. Ingram Reverend Dr. Jessica K. Ingram, and the 23rd session of the Western New York Annual Conference. Each member is also reminded to secure $150 in journal advertisements no later than March 29, 2019. The journal ad forms can be found on the ledge. Thank you in advance for securing $150 in journal advertisements from local businesses. Thanks and have a great day. Hey family, it's Pastor Simmons. On Tuesday, February 26, at 7 o'clock p.m., we will hold our official board meeting. At this official board meeting, the Reverend Regina Gray, pastor of Delane Waring AME Church in Buffalo, New York, and a graduate of Howard University School of Law, will conduct a sexual misconduct training. While the presence of all officers and members who work with children is expected, everyone is invited to come to our official board meeting. I look forward to seeing you there. And we are Baber AME Church, where we are making men and women who reflect the life and love of Jesus Christ. Love you. See, people today don't know anything about Black Inventors. Black History Month may be the shortest month, but it is still the most important month. Yeah, because we have some Black Inventors such as Madam C.J. Walker, she invented beauty products. And we also have George Washington Carver. He invented peanut butter. And he also invented peanut butter products. Girl, those is easy. Everybody knows about them. I'm talking about the hidden, the deep that nobody knows about. Let me give you an example. There's Philip Imagoli. He invented the world's fastest computer. It's, it was able to perform 3.1 billion calculations per second, per second. There's also Jesse Ernest Wilkins Jr. Now he's from Buffalo. He perfected lens designs for microscopes and visual aids. There's also Elijah McCoy, who invented the lubricating cup so that trains wouldn't have to keep stopping all the time in order to oil, you know, the train. Wow, these <coughs> facts are very interesting. Have you ever heard of Dr. Shirley Jackson? She invented the touch phone telephone and also the caller ID and fax machine. What is a touch tone telephone? Girl, you don't know what a cordless phone is? No. Mm -hmm. We also have Louis Latimer. He invented the air conditioning unit. Without him, we're gonna be hot. Mm -hmm. We also have Marie Van Britten Brown. Home security system, two-way microphone. She admitted those things. Girl, now we can't forget about Garrett Morgan. He invented the gas mask and the amber light because there was only red and green and that caused too many accidents. There was also Mary Davison. Even though she was disabled, she still invented practical things that we could use daily, such as the walker and toilet tissue holders. Also, there's Marin Croak. She holds over 135 patents, mostly in voice over internet protocol. 
but right now she still she still has 100 patents currently under review. We also have Otis Boykin. He invented the IBM computer and also the pacemaker. Without the pacemaker, a lot of people would die. We also have Lonnie Johnson. He invented the super soaker and a lot of children such as my sister loves the super soaker. We also have Charles Drew. He invented the blood banks, blood pressure, I mean blood plasma programs. And we also have Lisa Globster. She invented the web animation and also the online video. See all these black inventors that some of us don't know about? We gotta do better.